So I got a message from, uh, I guess, a, a young African-American. I think he's biracial um, kid who's going over to Europe. And he asked me if I had experienced or encountered any racism during my time in Europe. And my initial thought was just go online and Google my name and racist incident and you'll, you'll see something. But, um, but I wanted, you know, I did my best to answer him and, and I just felt like it was an important thing to share. Um, so that's why I'm doing this, this particular video. Um, <clears throat> the first time I experienced racism in soccer was here. Um, you know, I'm from Philadelphia and, um. You know, I played with some really strong teams here, and you know, I think when I was 16, I dribbled by a guy, and he called me the N-word. He tried to shake my hand after the game. I, I obviously didn't shake his hand. Um, in the state cup final, I think my, I think U18 or U19, one of those uh, age groups, um, one of the players called me the N-word on the field, um, just to try and distract me, and I reacted pretty. Uh, intensely and I had a really good coach and he sort of talked me off a ledge and tried to convince me to focus on putting that energy into the game and getting back at him that way I think I scored two or three goals and we won but you know the problem was I, I didn't feel like any adults were doing anything about it that, I just remember having that sensation as though like you know it was like I was wrong for reacting the way I reacted and I should calm down, but no one was addressing the, the fact that this kid said what he said. Different time, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but when I went to Europe, that's when things sort of kicked off. So I'm just going to talk about a few incidents. So, n number one, folks in Europe, especially in Eastern Europe and, and different places like that, they get their information about black people from American television. So I'm, a part of me tries to be somewhat, somewhat understanding, not really, but somewhat, I leave a little bit of latitude for the fact that they just don't know any better, um, or some of the people don't know any better. Um, but this is back when we didn't have, you know, the internet wasn't sort of everywhere and, you know, not everyone had access to to social media and, and, and the ability to, to fact check and sort of do a little more due diligence on things that they might be curious about. So when I was in Serbia, my very first game, we were playing a team called uh, Obelich. Stadium's full. And I was warming up to go in the game. So I start jogging. So if you imagine this big stadium, fields in the center, and I'm warming up on the right side so the benches were uh, on either side of half field and my bench was closest to um, the opposing fan section so I'm warming up in front of their I guess ultras and for those of you that, that don't know an ultra is like a, just a, an, an intense fan a, a club supporter a loyal club supporter uh, there might be a club uh, membership that they're part of so th those are ultras Typically, the groups you see with the, the flags and the faces painted and the smoke bombs, that's, that's typically in, the, in those sections. So I start jogging, and I'm, jogging, and I'm running down <clears throat> in front of this group, and all of a sudden I hear, kill the nigger, kill the... And then it gets louder and louder and louder. And I'm just like, hold on. I know I don't hear them saying what I think they're saying. And yeah, they were. Um, so... There was like there was nothing I could do about it. I mean, I gave them the middle finger a couple of times, but there was nothing I could do, and they wouldn't stop. And then once that died down, they started making monkey noises. So every step I would take, they would go hoo 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 hoo. <laughs> so you know, and the, the the thing I remember most was number one, I felt like I weighed a thousand pounds just because I was just so, you know, upset. But the 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 main thing was no one was doing anything about it. That's that's the I, I just remember I'm like I'm looking at the coaches I'm looking at the ref I'm looking at the officials I'm saying I know some of you speak English and understand what's going on like I know all of you know that word like what and no one was doing anything. 
that was the biggest, um, you know, that was the biggest issue that I had, you know, um, around that situation. The next, the next circumstance, um, that I'll mention was when I was playing in France. So we had a, we were playing, we had a corner kick and we were playing Bastia. So we had a corner kick. I went to go take the corner kick and all I remember was, and again, the corner kick was right in front of their fan section, their, their ultra section. I remember getting spit on, like, I can't tell you how many people were spitting, but I got spit on a lot. And I heard, sal neg, sal neg. That means dirty nigger, right? Um, yeah, and I had to, like, that was one time I was I was this close to jumping in the stands and taking taking out whoever I could. Um, so, that, <laughs> I've never been, had never been, have never been, since that point been spit on and that was a bit crazy um but again the referee was right there nobody did a thing nobody did a thing my teammates were like jay come on man I, like i know like in, in french obviously but they were like all right yeah yeah i know it's just like come on man i'm supposed to just take that i mean i had to um but the 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 biggest issue i had was um I was coming back from the city center, city uh, center in Belgrade, and I was coming back to my flat. And <clears throat> I was walking down the road, and there was this group of guys on on one side, and they started doing the sort of Heil Hitler sign in my direction. And I, and I and like you know just all kind of looking at me doing the Hitler sign. I was like I was like, what is your problem, you know? And the one guy walked over to me, and I was like, are you crazy? And he goes crazy because like he understood crazy and he tried to swing and i ducked it and just you know did what i had to do um and then i took off running uh because there were like 50 60 guys um, you know i didn't want to get killed uh so <laughs> and then I, I heard like bottles crashing next to me as i was running to where my some of my friends were and i, I went there and i told them what happened and then like the it's like a judo team there and they all ran out, but all the guys had, had gone. I think I think they knew who I was, and they realized that they were in trouble. Um, but I told the, the the president found out, and the president actually somehow dealt with that entire group, and I actually saw them picking up trash and painting outside the stadium. I saw the whole group doing it. Um, so, and, and after that, I was done with that with with being there. I I, I left. Um, uh, you know, so what I would say is things have gotten a lot better since when I was playing. I'm 36 now. You know, I was in, I was in my early twenties when that happened and there's a lot more awareness. There's less tolerance for stupidity. If you encounter things like that, um, you know, I think the best thing to do is, 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 uh, I think the best thing to do is to to inform the officials, inform your coach, even if it means, you know, sort of delaying the game. But, you know, I think you should continue to play. Some people don't. They believe in walking off the field, and I, I understand that. Um, I'm just of the mindset that one should not allow an idiot to stop you from doing what you do best. Um, I think you get, I think they win if you if you leave. I think they win if you take your talents away from the team um, and reduce their their chances of being uh, the team's chances of being successful but you know respond how you feel and how you wish but um, you know um, but it is difficult to handle and it is difficult when you know when it kind of hits you unexpectedly and you're kind of you know for, at least for me I was in Europe trying to fulfill this dream I had as a little boy <clears throat> and you know that's like the last thing I, I would have expected so you know racism exists just you know those people that that act that way they're they're either they're ignorant or they're stupid or they're just just mean or evil people whatever um, but uh, don't let that get in it get in your way if uh, don't let that slow you down if you uh, if you're set on becoming a pro in Europe or 
wherever. So, hope that helps.